Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. I'm excited about this episode because this episode we are planning to go to the Six Day Stilt, which I have never done in this game. Uh, we still have a bunch of stuff. I mean, we our weight isn't bad. Um, it would be nice. A lot of folks in here. Do we talk to everyone already? Yeah, you got slugs. Base near fire. Yeah. I think we're fine. Is there anything else we want to sell to the Dromad? Now, this rubber suit is interesting. We might want this. It's 321. And our it's better than our current armor. So I'm definitely... Actually, can I identify this? I bet I could if I wore our uh, artifact helmet, but I don't think we really need to. Let's sell some stuff. Um... Oh, we could sell this implant, Surefire. You know, I think it's... What does this do? Gain a random skill. Oh, right, but that skill is Surefire. Yeah, yeah, and that might be good for us. So we'll keep that around. We might want to use it. We can... Uh, we'll keep that short bow for now. No, we have... Do we have a Slender? No, I guess not. Let's sell the Stun Rod. We don't need that. Um... I guess we'll keep the extra dimensional club because it sounds cool, even though we don't really need it anymore. Um, we only have one of those, right? Yeah. What can I sell? I guess I could sell these recoilers that we don't really need because we keep, because of some weird quest thing, it keeps giving us recoilers we don't need. As long as they don't weigh much, I guess it's, I guess I'll just carry them. Um, canteens anything else oh I should probably be wearing the thing is I'm never wearing the null worm skull just sell the null worm skull it gives you an ego which might make prices a little better maybe although I'm not even sure if that's true and I always forget to wear it same with the pocketed vest it gives me a little bit more carrying capacity but not enough to merit carrying it around all the time foreskin gloves um, what are we wearing instead of those? Let's get rid of them. Get rid of all this stuff. Slender. Oh, that's nice. That is, is that as nice as the rubber suit? No, the, rub, the rubber suit gives you more armor, but less evasion. But I bet the rubber suit also gives you, yeah, electrical resistance. Hmm. What are we wearing right now? I am not sure. I want to sell the... Boy. Uh, I wish I could look at what I was wearing. Okay, forget this. Go to equipment. And I am wearing... Engraved leather armor. Because I guess we decided that armor was better. Yeah. Uh, that having the armor defense was better than the evasion. And on my hands, I'm wearing elastine gloves, which gives me agility. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this. Get rid of the things I said. Get rid of the slender woven tunic, even. And I guess I could get rid of my leather armor that I'm wearing, but... All this food. Lover's blossoms. I should, I should actually throw some of these grenades. I just, I always forget. Get rid of you. Okay. And I do want this. Give this to me. I will give you all these nuggets. And a Jasper. Ooh. The Jasper's not enough. Could give you other things, though. I mean, it's not that important to get the rubber suit. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't really want to overpay so much for it. And we don't really need it. All right, forget it. It was a nice idea. It was a nice idea, but the engraved leather armor is almost as good as it. 
All right, yeah, let's go. Let's just get out of here. We've we've spent too much time. Oh, I do need to eat. So we might as well. Great. All right, get out of here. And we are going, well, we're gonna go north. And we're gonna go, I could get the grit gate thing. No, the grit gate is too far away. We're gonna go up here to the junk stash and on, because it's on the way. Yeah. All right, we lost our bearings and that's fine. Get rid of this so I can see a little better. See any Dawn gliders coming at me. This looks like garbage. Yeah, it's trash. We could actually find stuff here. Ooh, I will take it. I will take that as well. Any other trash? A uh, little bit. Might as well. Oh yeah, I'm seeing in a bunch of places. Take that, because all this trash gives us scrap that is uh, that weighs nothing. Bronze dagger, that's not scrap. That's just extra weight. Yeah, there's trash everywhere. Are we finding more trash because of our skills? I'll take that. All right, right, let's fast travel again because we could spend forever doing this. And let's go specifically here to the junk stash. Cool. Yeah, we're just, there's just trash all over the place now. Naftali corpse. Oh, wow. Disassemble. Disassemble all this stuff. Great. Are there eight of these? Oh, this is fantastic. Cool. There should be like a disassemble all button. Ooh. This is great. Cool. Oh, look at all this. So much. I'm just hitting, I'm just hitting, alternating between M and enter. So much stuff. Okay. Okay. I am glad we came back here. It's a little tedious to do all that. A lot of the stuff that we're picking up, we haven't, we still need to actually dissemble. Disassemble. <laughs> Disassemble. And I think there was maybe more stuff over here. Uh, are you friendly? Yes. Which is good because you're impossible. That would be very dangerous. While we're up this way, we might as well look for that hollowed beetle corpse again. Like just pass by that area, I think. Which is somewhere over here. Oh, yeah. This is where we killed something. A beetle. Yep, here it is. Uh, let's talk to this hermit. Yeah, nothing to trade. And there's nothing here. No hallowed beetle corpses. Yeah, I didn't, th didn't think so. Again, you know, the questing system in this game is unfortunately not flawless. In fact, it is very flawed. Still, I thought it was worth coming by here just in case. Are you the same hermit? I guess so. This 
slime, giant amoeba corpse. Okay. Uh, we are hungry. Let's make camp. Whip up a meal. Okay. Yeah, I think we can just leave again. And go straight to the salt. Uh, the six day still. All right, we got lost again, and we do need to be careful because there are dawn gliders around. Every time I've tried to go to the six day stilt in the past, I've been killed by dawn gliders. Okay, wow, we're here. 1500 XP. Wow. Where am I? Oh, I see, in the middle. Let's look around. Warden's Esther. There's a saying among the vint vintners who hoist their sails toward the stilt. One rose is fair, five is death. Indeed, when a single shawl swathes her face and the esters are one, there is peace beneath the stilt. But when she's joined by her sisters and scarlet ribbons thrashed in the desert air, there's only blood and justice. Loved by the Fellowship of Wardens. Oh, Wardens like us. Okay. Let's talk to you. Whoa. Let's see. Uh, looks like we can have a number of reactions. Praise be to Shekinah, the Sovereign Fathers, the last time here. Or this is the sixth day still, huh? It's colossal. Beautiful. I see why the Crumb Stewards gather here. Yeah, that sounds like us. Maybe. A little more, uh, steady. So many folks. Is it true what they say that it's a petrified kraken? Oh, that's cool. What a grand bazaar. What's in each of these tents? Yeah, let's say this one, number two. Then you're not of the faith yourself, huh? Me neither. Do go inside, though. She's a beauty. Got dyed glass high in her rafters? She does. And two marvelous carvings on the wings, plus a light sculpture of a god. Hear the sermon, too, as you like. The high priest is persuasive, but not half as persuasive as the, the cathedral herself. In beauty, there's power, you know. Uh, either way, while you're in the cathedral or on the stilt ground, stay peaceful. Is it true what they say? That it's a petrified kraken? Who knows? Hmm. Sometimes she'll catch my eye when the moon's silver bright and she's there bearing down on the flats. Whatever she is, she's gigantic and old. Real old. Way older than the cathedral the mechanimus built inside her. But in each of these tents... Are you mad? You think I gave a tally for every shopkeeper? Okay, have a look for yourself. So many folks. Aye, aye, the clamor of it all can overwhelm. The glow crows say it was a bird god who taught the folks to gather like this in large flocks, so blame the birds. All right, I like you, but let's also share water with you. Cool. Oh, we could learn hot and spiny. We could learn shield, but we're not using a shield. Hmm. We have a lot of reputation with the Fellowship of Wardens. Let's learn shield. Cool. That's good. And what are these things? Protector of the stilt. Defensive stance. They're tough. They're only tough. They're wearing artifacts. They're wearing interesting stuff. Full of right armets. Zealots. Arcanauts. Interesting that Arcanauts are here. Mechanimus Pilgrims. Mechanimus Preacher. Mechanimist Coraler. I guess you sing? Yeah. Okay, let's talk to this preacher over here. Actually, let's talk to uh, you first. The Zealot. Piety compels you to deliver your sacred relics to the priests in the cathedral. Cleanse them of your filth. And you have a book. Yeah, this is supposed to be the place where you can sell books, or it's good to sell books. Enchantment. It knows no other name. Oh, you have a missile. Yeah, wow, that w costs a lot. Look, we can sell one for 560. Not a good uh, rate of return there. Maybe if our ego was better. What are you, Coraler? Herberry? What is this? Philosophers like to distill things in their essences. When a pedagogue walks his student through a vineyard, 
He points to the rustling leaves, the crushed grass, the empty sky, and he asks the student what is essential about each of them. Unbeknownst to both teacher and student, tucked away in a forgotten corner of the world, such an essential berry grows. Huh. Okay. All right. And what... What are these? Dogthorn trees. And what's in here? Oh. Hello. Lula heart. Hindrin pariah. Well, Hindrin hate us. So if you're a pariah, maybe you're okay. Are you looking for work? Yeah. Sure, we are. Lovely, take a seat. Chew the bark with me. I'll tell you what I know. I heard tell that my ancestral hometown, Bay La, is in some kind of trouble. They've opened their borders for the first time I know of and are specifically seeking to hire Kendrin. That's their word for outsiders like you. Would you be willing to go to see what they need? Uh, how do you know this? My wetter goes to scout to keep a distant eye on Bay La, to make sure that it is still there, still safe. I've never been within a parasang of my people's land, but I know exactly where the once hidden village stands. I will share this knowledge with you if you agree to consider whatever their request may be. Who are you? My name is Lulahart. The blood of the Hindrin runs through my veins, but two of my three parents were Kendrin, so that blood is dilute and salt brine from being born out here. Dilute, salty blood, heh. Uh, why do you care about Bela? Kindred may not say so, but they are my family. Why don't you go there yourself? I'm not welcome. My blood is not pure. Okay. All right, I'll go. Uh, bless you. I feel knowing better that at least one Kendrin will reach back to aid my kin. Let me advise you of Bela's location. Here's a little chew boon for your trouble. Yonder cane. Yonder cane. Uh, that would be under food. What do we got? The fluted stem of tasseled yonder brush. What does it do, though? I don't know. Uh, what are we wearing on our face? Still the telemetric visor. Yeah, I meant to turn that off. And switch it out. Whoops. Put on those goggles. Yeah, because I, I wanted to put oil in the cell. Play cell. With, I don't know. Just remove it. And can I fill you with oil? I don't. Oh, I do have some oil. Cool. And I will replace that. Cool. So now that I am only, now that I have a free hand, why don't we put our fidgets, I almost said fidget spinner, fidget cell in there. I think that'll be fine, especially since we're not in combat right now. Floor cushion. Let's eat some hot and spicy. That's nice. That is a nice meal. We could learn that meal from the warden. Sure. Let's try to do that. Give him a little water and... Oh, we have a secret to share with you. Location of Ayla. Um... Is that okay? Forget it. I don't want to do that yet. Maybe later. Um, let's learn this. Okay, our, our reputation with wardens is lowering, but it's still pretty good. And we learned that recipe. I don't know what it takes. We have recipes somewhere here, right? Here? No. Quest, reputation. Is it in the tinkering menu? No, I don't know where recipes are. Look at all the stuff we have, though. We have nanomaterials and pure alloy goggles. I mean, we could just make stuff and sell it. Okay. Let's go down here. See what's around. I have a feeling we're going to be spending a, quite a bit of time here. Schematics drafter. You have data disks. Item mod, freezing. Item mod, we've not seen an item mod before. Adds item modification freezing. Yeah, but that takes power. Polarizing. Polarized, I don't know what that does. Flashbang grenade, night vision goggles. Night vision goggles, but again, I bet that takes power. So that's cool. You're a cool guy, I'm glad to know you're here. What are you? A chef! 
Whoa. So we could buy re uh, ingredients if we knew what voider gland paste. I think voider glands are necessary in something we can make. All right, it's good to know you're there too. Um, I don't want to let those pigs out. Okay. Hello. Oh, you sell a lot of raw pig meat. All right, good to know you're there as well. All right, let's explore this. Cast down your artifacts. I think the artifacts, I don't know what they mean exactly by artifacts. All right, before we go into the temple, let's check this out, this shop. Um, you're just a pilgrim. Okay. That was a little boring. Thought there would be a vendor in there. All right, let's go in. Whoa. Shiba Hagadius, hulking baboon and librarian of the stilt. In the narthex of the stilt, cloistered beneath a marble arch and close to her argent fathers, she muses over a tattered codex. She's safe here, but it wasn't always that way. As a youngling, her own kind understood her little. Only when she was gifted a copy of the Canticles Chromaic did she learn comfort or mirth or reason. Her journey to the still took several years, but now that she's here, Sheba asks to consolidate all the learning of the ages tucked away in Cud's innumerable chrome nooks. Here she prepares a residence where pilgrims can study the wisdom of others and bring themselves nearer to the divinity of the Casa Pheasants. Okay, let's talk to you. Give book. Uh, have you come across any books or scrolls in your travels? Do you care to donate one to the cathedral library? Whenever you return, you may speak to me and read anything you've donated. I wonder if I could have given them the um, uh, Schrodinger's page. I wonder what you get if you donate a book. Maybe nothing. Where's the library? First phase of its foundation. The church has amassed a splendid collection of scripts. Glory Shekinah, praise be upon him, gifted us with several caches. All right. What use is the library in the salt den or in the marshes, strangled by wild plants and poisoned by the glow? Wouldn't a stash of vine reapers serve us better? You share the pessimism of my kin and several of the priests as well. My heart hears you, but listen to my words. Maybe you will come to feel as I do. To devalue wisdom is to devalue the cast of pheasants. She shines in the void, refracting light, illuminating those around her. She does the written wisdom of our elders. So does the written wisdom of our elders. The machinery of chromium is complex in its divinity. Don't we do a disservice to our fathers when we remain ignorant of it, of our past, of our future? Don't we deserve the joy of knowing? Bless Eschelstadt, the second, first child, for he believes as I do. Live and drink, chronicler. And with that, I think we put in a cut and explore the rest of this temple next time. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.